Daryl Brugink with No-Till Farmer here. We're at the National uh, Farm Machinery Show in Louisville and speaking with Derek Allensworth uh, from Yetter. Morning. And, uh, Derek, good to see you again. And you guys have always got something going on and always something happening, something new. And I know you, the air adjust system is something you guys have been really rolling out and working on this year. Tell us a little bit about that and the significance of it. Well, you know, as the world changes, technology and everything else, um, our customers have been demanding uh, new products to go with that. Um, so we worked, we worked with some farmers, growers, and um, we came up with this 2940 air system. It's uh, capable to be ran with ISOBUS technology, so um, it's kind of the, you know, we did step out and go in the fast lane with that. Um, it's got a lot of capabilities. We can hit up and the row cleaners raise, you can hit down, they're down. Everything, all the adjustments are made in the cab. Um, and that's, that's, you know, if you look at the acres you need to get planted in a day's time, um, and today's weather conditions changing and you want to hit that moment and an earlier planting date makes all the difference versus a later planting date. And, um, and Wait, so. What are you talking about a time savings alone just by having this capability? I mean, if you can kind of put it to a number. Well, I mean, to, today's planters, the average size is pretty much 24 rows. and. It used to be 12 rows, and but the 24s is, is is the average size today. Of course, you do have 48 row planters, but when you go through and you do have to make a mechanical adjustment to each row unit, um, soil conditions vary depending on you know weather conditions or your cropping protection you know practice as far as your if you're no-till or if you're strip-till or your minimum till, and so. What we've done here is you're, you're making the adjustments in the cab versus making a manual adjustment. And if you have to get out of the cab, go through, make the adjustment, pull the pin, put the pin back in, I mean, that could be a half hour adjustment and you could go through and make the adjustment and it could have been the wrong adjustment. Now you're back to make an adjustment. Now you correct it all in the cab. Another area that's been really big, especially with no-tillers, is the residue management side of things, corn stalks. You know, getting them to break down, and, and uh, you've entered that arena here with a uh, with what you call the stock devastator to help help yep. with that. Tell us a little bit how that's set up, how it works, and uh, you know, and really what it does to the, to the corn stock. As far as, as far Basically, uh, uh, that concept came to us from an actual farmer. Um, he invented the idea concept, worked with us. We brought it to production. Uh, what we're doing is is using a rolling a piece of pipe that's knocking the stocks down versus just laying them over. The goal is to save on tires, but also get the stock closer to in contact with the ground to let Mother Nature take its course. Right, and you've seen that being pretty popular and getting quite a few looks, I'm sure. So. Yes, it's, it's been real strong and uh, everybody understands the concept and uh, when they see the video, that really settles it. So. Good, good. Well, thank you, Derek. And again, Daryl Brogan here at the National Farm Machinery Show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.